Here we go. There, there. Two here. One here. One over there. Mm, this should be fine. Plants in every room. And then you get a lot of bonus. Or not so much, but a little. Okay. That's good. Out here. Let's hire some people. And let's open the hospital. A good psychiatrist. You can see here. Psychiatrist. That's his special skill. So he may work here. No other doctor can work there. So... Like piece of shit doctors. It's the and you will get new doctors here every month. Luckily. Um, so that's pretty reassuring. Here you go. There you go. What else? Um, yeah, toilets. Can have a small path. No need for a big path. Place the toilet on the wrong. It doesn't matter. Oh, I forgot. Radiator and plant. Let's increase the speed again. Max speed. So here is my staff working. Let's go over the menus later. Drug casebook. Here I can see which drugs I know how to cure. Research. I can't click research yet because I don't have a research department. Status is just graphs comparing me to my four competitors. Charts. Same. Just see how good I'm doing. And policy. So I'll show this later, I think. Yeah. And where are the creeps spawning? Yeah, or patients. Whatever you want to call them. Oh, it's February. One decent doctor here. So they have three levels. Pretty bad junior, doctor and consultant. Consultant can even teach how to be a good doctor to other doctors. So you want them. Oh, handyman. These guys are really important. Oh, my first patient. Yeah, come here, bitch. She will sit down. Perfect. I think I can program this even more. The cabinet, file cabinet should be down here somewhere. They walk too much. <gasps> oh yeah, I can. Let's see, I should have fixed the volume settings here. 20%. Announce it volume thirty percent. Right, courtesy phone. Yeah. 
volume is decent. Your team has discovered new condition. It's TV personalities. Cause daytime television. Symptoms. Delusions of being able to present a cookery show. <laughs> a trained psychiatrist must convince the patient. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, I already cured her. I don't even know. Alright. She had something. I don't know. Need psychiatrist. So it's March. So they will they will leave their rooms and help out in empty rooms if you don't have enough doctors. So that's very handy. So let's check the briefing for this level now that everything is up and running. Get the place up and running it by placing a reception desk, building GP's office and hiring a receptionist and doctor. Then wait for some business to come along. It's a good idea to build a psychiatry department and hire a doctor with psychiatric qualifications. A pharmacy nurse are also essential for curing patients. Watch out for rogue cases of bloaty head. An inflammation room will sort those out. Cure 10 people. Let's build a... I didn't build an inflation room. So this room is very funny actually. As you will see. It's April. He's good enough. Yeah, you have a rest here. Take a sleep, my man. Here you can see. We have exhausted all our diagnosis machines and the patient, we're still not sure what is wrong. What shall we do with the patient? 65% that we know what the cure is. So if you fail, they will die. That's why you have the policy here. So if a doctor's diagnosis is less than a certain percentage, so we want it to be 69, 70%. And this is when the staff should rest, how tired. So at 60% right now, it should be to 44, like that. So he should go home. Send them home. Cure another six patients. And I'm done. The squits. Eating pizza found under the cooker. <laughs> Cure. Okay, some chemicals. Oh, come on, you nursey bitchy. Bitchy nursey. You can do this. Oh, a good doctor. My rating is good, I just need to cure some patients. And then we can proceed to level 2. There's about 10 levels in this game, I think. But it gets pretty difficult. I remember as a kid I didn't finish this game, it was too difficult. My mach machines they just blew up all the time and if a machine blows up you can't use the room or sell the room or do anything so you need to send handyman to repair the machines here. Okay, the Minister of Health has expressed a wish to visit your hospital. Okay, come on Mr. VIP. So, a bloaty head. So for this guy, for example, it's pretty easy to guess what's the prob what the problem is. <laughs> he has a pretty bloody head, that fucker. Come on, spawn some more creepers. 
Yeah, you do. Check your pulse there. Whoa, that's a detour. Three more patients. And she has her tongue off. <laughs> I don't know what she's up to, man. <laughs> Running around, screaming probably. Fast as fuck. She's a super nurse. With her tongue out. I think we can increase the speed even more on this level. Whoa! Explode ahead. Oh, they're running around. Seventy eight percent. Nah, I don't know. It's too risky. I don't want any deaths. Another... Ooh! I got 2000 in cash because he was satisfied. How many have I cured? I've cured 11 patients. There we go, I met the criteria. Vastly successful during your tenure at this hospital. To this end, we predict great things for you and would like to offer you a position elsewhere. Salary would be 10,700 and we think you'd love the new challenge it would pose. Would you like a position at Sleepy Hollow Hospital? Yes, please. We're ready. Change the speed. Oh. All right, let's check the map first. This is how it looks, okay. What about start with some GP's office? There we go. Try over there. That seemed to be even more efficient. I don't want any queues in my hospital, that's why I, I spammed the GP's office. Alright. Three GP's office. I'm gonna fucking program this shit. Yeah, I'm placing windows, Mr. Man. Can't you see? You blind fuck. There we go. There we go. Let's see here. Ward, maybe? It needs to be even bigger. Ah, no. I need a. Uh... No, it's okay. The ward is so big. Place it over here. Let's see, can I fit two beds in here?
Oh man. <laughs>